Hey guys, welcome back to Perk System Brothers. If you can guess by the subject here, today I'll be talking about the Parisian restaurant, Olive Green Building, there in the middle, and the expansion I recently did, building a full floor, extra floor, and kind of inserting that between the top one here and the original second floor, and bringing that building up. Uh, doing a little bit of comparison with some of the other modulars, specifically the Market Street with an extra floor and the Teal Townhouse with a modified upper section. And then Cafe Corner is there on the end for good measure. And uh, yeah, just take a look at how an expanded Parisian restaurant looks in a modular lineup. <laughs> Most of the project for expanding the restaurant was concentrated on this back section here just due to the way that the original structure has a exterior access to upper floors. Um, that's the best way to show that it's going to be to show what it kind of was like without this middle floor. So this is the one that has been inserted, completely new. Uh, facade actually matches piece for piece except for the balcony uh, up with the front. So that was not very difficult in terms of you know the dimensioning, sizing, height wise. Um, it's really just a copy and paste of the footprint from this part of the build. However, deciding how to get another run of stairs going up to this upper section once this has been placed on top of the new floor was where a lot of the, the effort and thought went in uh, because this entire bit right here had to be added at the same time that I was doing the copy of the floor. Not only did I have to add this, I had to have a way for the original stairs section which is the center part in here I needed a way for that to be able to access the next run of stairs. What I ended up doing is putting an extended kind of balcony fire escape platform, completely bringing this out, um, probably eight studs here, about eight studs worth, and using that extra bit of room to get uh, the landing to go around to the next run of stairs. And then it's just a simple matter of lining the new stairs up with the original upper story door landing. Which previously was right here. And it actually still works just fine without the uh, extra floor. Uh, it just has a little bit of an extra balcony and there isn't much in terms of safety for going and falling right there. So um, if I wanted to put Parisian Restaurant out without the center floor section, it'll look just about the same from the front. Actually I think it would be identical when viewing from the front of the model. You wouldn't necessarily be able to tell that anything was changed, um, but at the back a lot of this is still here, um, what's been modified, and it isn't necessarily interfering with the model, um, but it does look quite a bit different than the original structure, where it was just one set of stairs going up. This balcony was much smaller as well, and there were no supporting pillars going down to the ground. So all of that kind of modification work 
has been done to help this extended balcony look like it's supposed to be there. Um, when this was just out here floating in space, eight studs extended from the building. Uh, structurally, when you're building with Lego, it works because Lego does not need the same support system that an actual building would. But visually, when you're looking at it in the sense of a scaled up building or a scaled down building, this much overhang, it just looks unreasonable due to the way that load bearing structures and, and pillars and support systems are uh, usually found throughout uh, real buildings. So all of this is in place to help give this enough visual weight to look like it belongs there. Um, and that was really the majority of the build was getting that developed and implemented. And then it was just a matter of copying this floor, getting those stairs to line up, and bringing the top back in for a cohesive looking building. I had a little bit of fun with this spot right here. This was kind of a blank slate in terms of what could go there. So I ended up copying the front window design, lining it up with the, the lower door, the floor down. And then since this is back by the depth of a brick, I was able to copy the brick stacking that is found on the other corner and kind of uh, isolate that section of the build. And it also helps uh, give a border to that window. So the stacking, that recessed portion there, I think that all turned out really nice. Um, and then the rest, the front of the building, just copying the other layout from the original floor right here. Now one of the keystones of the modular buildings uh, that have the fully enclosed back structure, uh, to be able to access the interior, you want a way for sections to be able to lift off pretty easily. Um, therefore, you have the tiled top surfaces. Uh, the Parisian restaurant actually has a significant number of stud attachments, uh, which, as you can see, get a little sticky sometimes. So right back here has gotten stuck to the upper floor. We'll just pop that back off. Uh, but it still works pretty good. Um, but what that meant for the design here was I needed a way for these sections to lift off at kind of a natural break point um, where these pillars are going down. So to do that, I just had to figure out where to split that column uh, and a good way to keep these secure. You don't want pillars just floating out in the middle of nowhere. And um, to, to fix that, I kind of ran these three sections back to the lower floor of the building. And then I matched up that profile with a single branch that goes up here. And then this one it actually ended up being the two corners of the balcony. So extending that balcony uh, to line up with the two pillars on the right side. And then this one ends up kind of being a freestanding one but it's still tied in to the main floor. And this portion is also the stair access as it goes past the first door for this lower floor down here. And then you go kind of go past that door, up the stairs, around this balcony, then you get to the next flight that goes up. Um, at the same time, keeping all of this able to be lifted off and accessible. I did have to get into this first floor down here to get these attached. I think I ended up taking out the entire first row and bringing that back in. Um, and then I did get down one more into the olive green um, somewhere in the bottom here. don't remember exactly where, but uh, just to help things line up and get this tied in the way that I wanted it. Yeah, I did have a couple notes about the front, um, specifically the balcony. It's really the only thing that's different here aside from just doing a little bit of uh, randomness with the flowers. You don't want, don't really want those to be exactly copied on the same uh, floor up. But orientation of the windows, you know, the direction that the doors open, that's all preserved. But I did want to do something different with the balcony where I have this curved 4x4 four four quarter circle railing instead of the original 1x4 
railing. And what I ended up doing here is using the 2x6 with rounded corners, um, and then this is kind of in line with the front of the building where that attaches. Since the door is set back by one stud, that does give a little bit of a platform here for a minifig to stand on. Um, and then on top of this 2x6, just using two tiles and a jumper, that attaches to the center of the railing, and that can kind of be positioned by rotating, rotating it on that jumper to put in line with the edges of that brick and put that balcony on there. Um, I think the way that it's balanced where the, the corners of the railing go more to the center of the pillars instead of to the inside edge of the pillars like the lower floor. I like that a little bit better. It just seems to be more of a functional balcony than where this one almost looks more like a, a decorative balcony. Um, and it also kind of copies Market Street where it uses these hoses to get a similar effect. These balconies are actually slightly larger um, but this one pretty simple to do. Um, the parts aren't super hard to get a hold of. It's the same style as the original floor. It's just, in my opinion, a slight improvement to the sizing and the weight that the balcony gets in terms of the overall elements on the face of the building. Now looking at the restaurant in the context of a few other modular buildings, um, Without having any of the other ones expanded, I think this would look a little bit too tall for a modular street. Possibly the unmodified cafe corner, it would still be okay next to that just in terms of the height comparison. Um, but specifically the Teal Townhouse and even Market Street, um, without those having a little bit of an expansion where they're at right now, um, I think the Parisian restaurant would just be a little too overpowering right next to either building. Because remember, the Teal Town House was down probably somewhere in here without being that modified height. Um, and putting an entire additional floor on the restaurant, it just brings that up to almost the same height as Market Street, which by itself is quite tall after adding another floor. So. The modified Market Street and the modified restaurant together I think look really nice. They're both in the same um, kind of range. Their floors don't line up exactly, but um, they both have about the same number uh, of studs per floor and they're both getting up there within a few studs at the total height. You know, top of the chimney of the restaurant and then the stepped roof of Market Street are actually within a couple studs of each other height-wise. Cafe Corner has this corner tower right here, and that's actually at the same level as the shorter chimney of the restaurant. So over on the left side, um, there's a little row of three round studs that make that little chimney stack up there. And that The top of that little stack lines up with the tower of Cafe Corner. Cafe Corner has not been modified from its original height. That is um, to spec with the original building. There's a few modifications in there, but it's more or less um, the modular standard that kind of launched everything. And so height-wise, I think that building's still fine in this layout. Um, if it did have another floor, it would kind of be the showstopper, which would be fine with me. I'd, at some point, I'll probably will build another cafe corner floor. Um, but even an un unmodified cafe corner can still hold its own um, when lined up with these other expanded buildings. So I think that's interesting. The other thing about the Parisian restaurant is the width is not a full 32 studs. And you can see it's actually got this, it's not really an alley because it doesn't start at the base layer. Um, but once you get up those little brown stairs to the dining patio, the rest of the building continues up at a, a shortened width. And what this does, it, it kind of helps break up the continuous row of, of building structure. Um, the other thing that's helping here are the different colors. So those are really nicely showing where one building stops and the other starts when you have these different color buildings lined up. 
Um, but having the physical separation as well, I think, does a lot. And um, at some point, I think if you go too high with the physical separation right next to it, that could start looking a little bit wonky as well. But just one floor adding on to the restaurant, I don't think hurts it too much um, to have that, that split right there. This is also something that's been done with the current modular, the Boutique Hotel. Um, up above the art gallery is kind of an open space as well. So they're doing something similar with that modular there, just breaking up the solid face of the buildings and letting that have a little bit of a gap. Even though it doesn't go down to street level, um, it does help break that out a little bit. Um, it also lets you do a little bit with that exposed side of the building. And in this case, the restaurant gets uh, a chimney that bumps out by one stud and it gets a little bit of detailing on there. When I get back to my modular row houses, uh, I'll be doing something similar with a a four wide alley in between two of the houses. So we'll, we'll kind of revisit this subject when I get back to my houses, but I did want to note that um, we have this eight wide gap in the official modular line. So our Market Street over there I did in November, and then the Teal Town House was December. Now January, kind of at the end of the month, but um, more or less one, two, three, um, working on these expansion projects. We'll be putting a pause on that for February as I get stuff moved and hopefully resume um, once things are in place, but the month of February might not correspond to a uh, specific modular. It, we'll probably have to wait a little bit longer, um, but yeah, expanding these modulars, so far so good, just um, kind of a unique approach to each one, where, especially for the Teal Townhouse, wasn't so much inserting a floor, but kind of redesigning that whole upper section. And it ended up being another floor taller, but it was not in the same manner as the other two modulars were. More or less taking that top section, just bringing it up to make room for something below it. So, yeah, it will be interesting to see what direction I take with some of the other modulars. Cafe Corner might be coming along. I also have the Brick Bank and the companion building for the townhouse is a bookstore. So the bookstore, I'd like to um, bring that up as well. So we'll be getting back to those eventually, but probably not here in February. But uh, that's about it. Just covering some of the, the finer details from that project with the restaurant. I did use <laughs> just about all of my olive green bricks to get this done. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't have that many in the first place, but um, thanks to the nature of the windows, those take up a lot of the space that would otherwise be solid brick building. So I really only had to worry about the, uh, the back a little bit, and then the side that's up against Market Street was basically 1x4s and some 1x2s, which I did have enough of to complete the expanded floor. But thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, we'll be back with the modulars at some point in the future and in general other kinds of content here on the channel so keep an eye out for that coming up we'll see you next time on brick system brothers